Level 7 Survival Difficulty Class 4, Unsafe, Unsecure, Medium Entity Count. Level 7 is the 8th level of the backrooms. It was first discovered by Reddit user u slash bard Zeronius. It poses a significant obstacle to exploration at level 8 and further. Description. Level 7 is unique in that it is a vast expanse of water that appears to stretch on endlessly, making it a lifeless ocean. Like level 6, it is pitch black. The screams of level 6 are not present. The water is distilled, rather than being salt water or regular fresh water. Nobody thus far has truly explored level 7, but what is currently known is that the first and potentially only proper room of level 7 is not flooded and has the usual fluorescent lighting. The room has a thin layer of water on the bottom, and is strangely skewed from the rest of the floor. The single door opens to show the surface of the water from a top-down perspective. The room is seemingly rotated horizontally, but gravity still works to keep one's feet on the floor in the first room. Upon entry, gravity switches to pulling one towards the water and is significantly stronger than regular gravity. The water has been reported to be very cold and it is generally not advised to enter it. In the ocean, there are rooms stacked up on top of rooms reaching up from the ocean floor to peek out above the surface, like small islands. These islands are scattered about far from from each other, with only the faint fluorescent light leaking out of the surface rooms. These rooms are mostly flooded at a random water level if they're in the water. You may also find stairs that traverse the insides of these islands. Inside the islands is furniture, scattered across all rooms, sometimes stacked upon each other, or floating in the flooded areas. The floor of the ocean are mounds of rock and carpet sticking out from the infinite abyss. It is made up of carpet hardened by the thick layer of tar and bones above it. There are several skeletons, including several almost humanoid figures and massive, toothy fish. Little else is known about the depths of the waters, aside from the extreme darkness and the endless expanse of tar and bones. There is a rumored cave entrance in the mountains it leads to level 8. In terms of entities, level 7 has only one reported one. Alone in the freezing waters, the thing on level 7 appears to have killed off any other life in the ocean. The current depth of level 7 is unknown by exact terms, but members of the BAS has determined it to be impossibly deep architecturally wise. Colonies and Outposts Prayers of the Water God, TPWG, a group that has a base on one of the many room islands the group prays the thing on level 7 numbers of people in the group, about 15 behavior calm, quiet, but also tricky and mysterious. The group's main mission is to pray to the thing on level 7, and free any people they meet. Anyone who encounters them will be greeted with food, water, and sleep to their base and will be asked if they want to join in. If you say yes they will teach you, give you their group's garment, and teach you that proper way to pray. If you say no, they will kindly take your answer and give you food, water, and sleep for fur as long as you want. However, do not stay in their base for long. They will sacrifice or free you to the thing on level 7. They will drug you asleep, so they can do their rituals with these. Entrances and Exits Entrances it is possible to enter level 7 by jumping through a puddle found in level 6. No alternative entrances have been documented. Exits The only two known exits are through an underwater exit shaped like a hole located somewhere in the carpeted ocean, which was discovered by u slash bard zero miss and u slash of old, and this will lead to level 8. A more practical way of exiting is through a double side door with the sign no exit glowing neon red that seems to be appears close to the only room on this level. It leads back to level 4, although the exact location is unknown.